All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. The Niners active on this uh, April 3rd, and we're brought to you by Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Also brought to you by Marin Auto Glass. And Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles. Marin Auto Glass is at 415-883-3030. MarinAutoGlass.com on the web. And Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles. Give Anthony Catania a call. He's at 831-521-5264. All right, let's talk a little bit about a couple of the moves that the 49ers have been involved with here on um, on April the 3rd. And ESPN Adam Schefter reported that the 49ers are signing former Green Bay Packers running back, Patrick Taylor. He gets a one-year deal. He played at Memphis. He's a, a Texas kid. He's from Humble, Texas. He's 6'1 and a half, 217 pounds. He's all yoked up. If you look at Patrick Taylor, he's really, really well built. He 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 ran four five seven coming out of Memphis. Um, and and he's played a backup running back role for Green Bay. Him and Darnell Henderson were a one-two punch for the Memphis Tigers in 2017 and 2018. Only started one game as a junior and then carried the ball 214 times for 5.4 carry, 16 touchdowns, and caught 17 passes uh, for 197 yards the next season. So, I mean, this is a guy who's who's got some good size, decent speed, uh, backup running back. He's a big running back. He could run with more force. There's no question about that. Um, he doesn't run like a big back at all times. He's got the size and the power to impose his will, but he just really hasn't done that. He doesn't He doesn't run with power through contact. Um, got good feet, can run between the tackles, can run in the open field. He's got speed to break away. He's got vision. He's got burst. Um, but you know, the vision could be a little bit better. And, you know, as far as, um, you know, in the, how will he run in the Niners system? How will he run? You know, well, how will the Niners utilize him at this point? It's kind of unknown. Um, they green Bay used him on some third downs and, you know, he's, he's, this guy is, is yoked up. I mean, he's well-defined. He's got a big muscle frame. Uh, he scored a touchdown every 13.1 carries over the last three years of college. And, um, and you know, he looked good in the open field, uh, displaying some speed, especially for a big back. So um, he's got good patience. You know, he's got the, you look at this guy on the hoof and you're like, wow, uh, he's got some kick coverage experience as well. So he's done some things on special teams. That's a good thing. Um, he never was the full-time back at Memphis. He was always part of a committee with Henderson. Uh, he, he's got kind of an upright running style. So he, he subjects his body to a lot of hits, a little tight in the hips. Um, so he, he's not, you know, it's not like he's some superstar back. He joins a Niner running back core that already has Christian McCaffrey, Elijah Mitchell, and Jordan Mason. So um, the Packers signed him as an undrafted free agent out of Memphis kind of shows how good they're, personnel department is in 11 game appearances with green bay last year he carried the football 32 times for 141 yards he added 11 receptions for 49 yards and he played 33 percent of the offensive snap so the niners get a back who um has nfl caliber talent and they deepen their backfield and maybe they take running back off the list of of needs in any way going into this draft they always seem like they draft at least one running back and they probably will again but um you wonder what role taylor is going to play for them now the other news and note today is that the detroit the, the uh, detroit lions just as grant cone uh, guessed when we did our our dual stream on monday he said he thought the lions would match the niners offer a uh, sheet of three years and $12 million. And sure enough, Detroit did. So um, basically Detroit just got, you know, the Niners negotiators, Prague Marate and, and company to do their negotiating for them. 
So it's three years, twelve million dollars, and um, and Brock Wright goes back to the Detroit Lions. So he was a restricted free agent, tight end out of Notre Dame, and I think the Niners were hoping to to pick off a you know a decent two way player at a excuse me at a very reasonable price, and they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it because Detroit just said, you know what? Yeah, you know we like that player as well. So we'll re-sign, we'll take Brock Wright, and we'll we'll give him the twelve million, uh, including the six million guaranteed. And Ian Rappaport had that report. So what does that mean for the 49ers? It probably means that they're gonna sign a veteran tight end before the draft. There was a lot of talk about Robert Tanyan and and there were some other names thrown out there. Um, I think the Niners are looking for at least two tight ends, one in the draft for sure, and one going into the draft, a veteran. And they were hoping it would be Brock Wright. And I thought Wright was interesting. He was 260 pounds. Um, he had some good pro football focus blocking numbers, but he also had shown a propensity to be kind of a little bit of an underrated receiver. Um, and yet um, the Niners don't get to enjoy any of that. And he goes back to the Lions. So those two moves more than anything were the moves that, that uh, kind of stood out um on this on this april 3rd day the lions match the niners three-year 12 million dollar offer sheet to brock wright and the niners turn around and sign former packers running back patrick taylor to a one-year deal i like the addition of taylor i think taylor has some upside ability for sure um, the other thing that I think is kind of an interesting thing that we probably should mention today is that Stefan Diggs gets traded from the Buffalo Bills to the Houston Texans. And it was a rare early April trade. Um, and basically, uh, in exchange for a 2025 second round pick, the, the Buffalo Bills send Diggs and a 2024 six round pick and a 2025 fifth round pick to Houston. So Houston moves a second round pick in next year's draft and they wind up getting digs and a, a sixth and a fifth. And it makes you wonder if the Niners will be able to get a number one pick for Brandon. Ayuk. Um, Ayuk's younger, he's healthier, probably has a better overall attitude. Uh, but is he better than digs? I don't know. I don't know if he's better than digs. He was an all pro player this side or this year. Uh, Diggs is, he's younger than Diggs. Diggs, um, will turn 31 in the middle of the 2024 season was drafted in 2015. Ayuk is entering his fifth season. He recently celebrated his 26th birthday. So you're getting much more of Ayuk in his prime. It does make you wonder, um, you know, uh, what, what kind of value can the 49ers really expect to pull? out of any trade involving Brandon Ayuk. But the big story of the day, they've signed, the Niners have signed running back Patrick Taylor Jr. I'm eager to see what he looks like this summer and how they utilize him, and the Niners lose out on Brock Wright. He goes back to the Lions for a three-year, $12 million deal, including $6 million guaranteed. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of The Krug Show, and thanks to all you guys for supporting The Krug Show on YouTube.